system ready for operation. The sprinkler pipe contains air under pressure, shown here in yellow. The water supply contains water under pressure, shown here in blue. The area located just beneath the clapper is open to atmosphere through the alarm port and the pipe connections to the automatic drain valve and alarm devices, shown here in orange. When a fire activates a sprinkler, the air under pressure in the sprinkler piping is released. The valve opens allowing water to spray out of the sprinkler. Water will only spray out of sprinklers that have been activated by the fire. Water will also flow through the alarm port to the alarm devices to indicate water flow. Let's take a look at the system in action. To reset the valve after the fire is under control, the main control valve is manually closed to shut off water and the air supply control valve is closed to shut off the air supply. Then the main drain valve, the low body drain valve, and all auxiliary drains are opened to drain water from the system. Once the system stops discharging water, all drain valves are closed except the main drain valve. The plunger of the automatic drain valve is depressed to verify that it is open and the system is completely drained. Replace all sprinklers that have operated. Press down the reset knob to allow the clapper to reseat. Air and then water pressure are restored and the valve is returned to service.